1995, I visited the post office downtown. And there was a table out with hundreds, if not maybe a thousand letters. They were all addressed to Santa. I decided to look through them quickly and I realized it was gonna be a long night. Dear Santa, this year I am asking for a bed and furniture for my room. This would change my life and that Since of my we family. Sleep on the floor on a sleeping bag. I would like blankets, pajamas, snow boots, and clothes for the cold. I will ask Santa Claus for clothes and shoes for my children. For and now, a stroller we all for sleep together children. because we cannot buy a bed for me because my mom earns very little money. What I want most is to see my children happy. The clothing will change our lives because my children will be dressed warmly to school. This would really change my life. I work at Second City for 20 years, and I earned my stripes by standing in between the actors and the audience. It, it afforded me the opportunity to then use these actors on stage. I would call it a variety show. It's kind of a, a comedy show, but it's at Second City. There are comedians, there's music acts, many weird combinations of performance, but always very entertaining. A lot of musicians started participating. A lot of friends of ours started participating. It'll be 18 years uh -huh. uh, with Letters to Santa. We have raised over two and a half million dollars. The 24-hour show is sort of the principal fundraiser for the project, which is Letters to Santa. It's um, showing up unannounced at the doors of people who have one way or another expressed desperation and changing their lives like on the spot like you show up with all of their immediate needs covered like whatever they've asked for that they need and then also you can give them enough money to turn their lives around it is looking into a kid's eye and knowing that they're never going to forget this moment there was a family that we showed up to their house and the 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 husband had left the wife and they had six kids and he took everything we went to this house and they were, it was empty. And there was like a 10 year old boy. There was like a 10 year old boy. Who was trying to be a man in that house. And he couldn't believe what he was seeing. And we just kept bringing in more and more gifts. And that we gave them money. And he didn't say anything. And the mother was crying and everybody was really happy. And we left the house, me and Tim, Midget. And he ran out of the house when no one else could see him. And he said, hey, mister, hey, mister. And we stopped and Tim turned around and he said, I don't know who you are, but I love you. And I know that you can't take hope away from that kid. That no matter what else happens in his life, he is going to think strangers knew who I was. I'm important. And they gave us $10,000. Anything can happen. I came up here from LA and I love playing music, but I'm like, Heather knows what she's doing. I, I'm just gonna show up. And this way I can feel like, so, I, I trust her judgment on it. Whatever I'm doing for Heather, she is going to watch that all the way until the disbursement of the money to whoever she wants it to go to. So she's got a vision and I respect that she really makes sure that that's carried out. I'm not really an unbiased person having married Heather because she is the best person I've ever met, but I've never met anyone as driven to do one thing for the benefit of other people as Heather Winna. So on Christmas, Christmas Day this year, we'll do 15 families like we normally do, and then we're going to fly out to Oakland on Christmas night. Oh. And then we're going to show up on December 26th. We're going to go to three families in Oakland. A lot of that has to do with the money that we raised here. One show, we raised $45,000 and, and just the change that's going to be created from that money. And you know, all of that's going to, to make a difference. 
I don't even have an interest in sitting somebody down and explaining to them how they should do things differently. All I can do and have any interest in doing is showing up and giving somebody something that I know will make their life easier. Because when you make somebody's life easier, it is more likely that they will see a way out.